G'day everyone, welcome to Open Wheels. Today's video, I'm going to finally get around to setting this pendant. So, it's been, <laughs> been a while, this is from the giveaway, and I was supposed to make a silver pendant, as promised. And, um, yeah, we all know the story, busy, busy, busy. So, this is a resin chip one. Um, this was supplied in a giveaway by Blaxus, Howard, and thank you Howard for everything you've donated for that giveaway. So this one is going to get put into a pendant today. We're going to use some bezel, and we're going to use a little bit of this for the bail and the loop for the bail. So first things first, which very simple. Um, oh, also, this will go around the bottom to stop it falling out the bottom. Um, but yeah, so first things first, we'll get this bezel around the stone and measure it out uh, as per usual. And this will sort of probably be a quick video. Uh, while that's in the pickle, we'll get to and sort some of this out for a bale and our loop. So for the loop, it's pretty straightforward. 
Make sure we start off with a flush end. And all we have to bear in mind is how wide our bale that's going to fit through it is. So we need to make a loop big enough for that. So you come down your to about halfway, I reckon. Just after halfway, so around about there. So we'll start back here. Oops, start back here. I'm just going to give it a bend. Release my grip a little bit, let it spin on the spot to keep this position and keep it going until it comes around in a corkscrew. And there we are, simple as that. Double check it on our bale. Bale will definitely fit through there. So that could actually get a little bit smaller if we wanted. And to do that, it's as easy as backing off a little bit, just pulling it that bit tighter. And there. All we have to do, give it a snip. We have our loop. line up the two ends, bring them together. There we go. Easy as that. So we'll set that to the side. We'll start on this. So, from my experience, first of all, we'll neaten this up. And that'll be good enough for what we're going to do. So, I'm going to measure about that much, plus a bit of a bend, and then down the other side the same, with a little bit to fold over at the bottom. So, around about There shall be our length. Grab the saw, spin it around here. On my line. Voila. We have our bow. Spin it back around here. First thing I'm going to do is bevel these corners so when it comes around to meet each other it's got a, a narrower section. And to do that, let's just get our file. Mm, yes, we'll do. Just follow me over here. Just to give it that kind of a base to start with. This will be the back. It's about like that. We'll sort of do the similar to the other end, but we're going to come up a bit further. So, if I can find, what do with this? We'll mark on here. Something about there. Just to help us a bit with controlling how I file this, just make it a little clamp. I 
I'll tighten it on the angle I want it. About there. Sorry. On the other side. Yeah, so that's the best angle I can offer. Let's see that it's giving us a bit of a bezel, bevel, bezel. And uh, same with the other side. Too far off there. A bit more. A little bit more. Now we're going to round these edges a bit, blend them. So there we have it. So down the back here, we're going to need a stamp. We'll go do that. Okay, so it's just going to be a quick, short, sharp. Right, I'll try and get it sideways across it. Okay, one, two, five. Let's find the middle. Let's use these. Once we got it started. where those points start to come into it. So what I'm going to do is attempt to uh, bend the end of this, pointing it that way. Like so. Let me do the same with the front end a bit. So we're going to get the other bit out of the pickle. Okay. So here we're going to find our join. We give it a bit of a clean up. That's right. And we're going to get our join. Aim it up the top. So we'll decide which way is the top and which way is the bottom. Be a good start. Look here. Bring that way up. So if that's the top, first things first, I'll keep my join. Plonk him up the top. And reshape. Made to measure. And 
There we go. So it should slide in and out of there pretty easy now. Turn its shape. Follow. So, on the bottom, we're going to need to um, make a ring. Stop it slipping through. So that's where this wire will come in handy. So, <laughs> we will need to get this soldered on, but again, to be able to clean around here before that goes on would be an advantage. And so, I'm just going to get in with a file and a bit of sandpaper and just start tidying this up, ready to have loop and bale soldered on. Alright, it's nicely tidied up, that's our top. We'll go get this soldered on, and then the bale. All right, fresh out the pickle. Just gonna get a little bit more of a tidy up with the file, and straight on the 400, 800, 1200, and we'll start polishing. All right, so I've got that polished up and beveled over the top there, ready to bezel. So all that should be required is to slip the stone in. around a bit so we might have to just run around the inside of it straighten out the inside edge get me burnishing tool and I'll start running around the edge I'll just do this off camera you've seen it before but there we go almost done So there we go, and in the bottom is all the big and little tiny particles that were in every little nook and cranny that just couldn't get squirted out with a hose or a tap. Alright, so we'll do this from scratch, fresh water, just a couple of pieces of concrete, matrix, ready for treating. I'll well put them in the same area. I'll put them both here. Where we can see it all.
it on for safety. Okay, here we go. Cool. That was all blocking up the pores. No longer. Get a lot more into it now. So there we are, all finished, set, polished, ready to go. So there we go, uh, Frangipani River, you'll be receiving this finally. <laughs> and um, I'll have to yeah, start making some rings, I think. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Cheers.